from the mind of Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov. So the updated Sphere plugin is out now with version 10.2.2 of Apollo console software. Go get it because it has the new microphones in it. And when I say new microphones, I'm talking about this model of the TLM-103, which um doesn't sound bad. I actually don't hate it as much as I hate an actual TLM-103. Now, there's not much difference in the Sphere software, at least as far as I can tell so far from using it for about two minutes. Um, they've changed the font. The font is a little bit more uh, modern, right? Reflecting, I guess, the new Sphere branding. And... Uh, Right here, so this is actually different too. Um, when you choose your source mic, right? Right. I don't know if this really makes any difference. Do you hear any difference at all? I don't know. So you choose your source mic between the new Sphere DLX LX and the old school Townsend Labs L22, which is what I have here. And so this is cool too. When you click that, you get this master window right instead of that drop down list so you can go here and you can choose anything so here let's um let's compare a couple of things to the 103 um hold on so um for a limited time get a free month of service and a discount off our regular price all right let's try the 87 modern for a limited time get a free month of service and a discount off our regular price let's try the 87 vintage for a limited time, get a free month of service and a discount off our regular price. Eh, I think the TLM 103 is definitely better for, for commercial VO um, than this. I don't know. Hello, hello. Check one, two. For a limited time. For a limited time. For a limited time. For a limited time. Eh. All right. But this one is what I'm really interested in. This is the Brauner VM1. And the Bronner VM1 was, I believe it was designed or was designed with Klaus Hein. There's a mention of it right here. Uh, this one may have been modeled after one that Klaus Hein, the, oh yeah, this is, okay, so this is the Klaus Hein edition. So he created, oh, I switched mics. Oh man, look at that. So he created this, uh, this tube mic for Bronner that is just clean and beautiful and you can't even find it anymore i think they there was a limited run of them and if you if you can find a, a klaus hein edition vm1 <laughs> i think it might cost you 15 or twenty thousand dollars. they are exceptional so how does this compare to an actual one i couldn't tell you um for a limited time get a free month of service and a discount off our regular price not bad i like it it's pretty smooth what does it sound like in hyper super all right, in HyperCard. Oh, it's too much. Too much low end. In SuperCard. For a limited time. For a limited time. For a limited time. All right. I think it's definitely going to be, uh, there's definitely going to be some playtime in the booth to figure out which one of these I like best. Do I like this one better? Or do I like this one better? Or does it make a difference? Either way, you know what? I'm pretty happy with this free update. For the uh, Townsend, I mean, Universal Audio Sphere plugin. And the other thing that's cool is what they also did was they added the IsoSphere functionality to the Bill Putnam and the Oceanway plugins. So you get that um, when you update to 10.2.2. So if you haven't updated yet, go do it um, if you are a Sphere owner uh, because you get two new mics and they're both pretty cool. So let me know what you think. The new Townsend Sphere plugin. Pretty neat. All right, leave a comment. And until next time, this is Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov, Fading to Black.